Hey, welcome to News Now. New and noteworthy. Happy Taco Tuesday to you and yours. Matt, do you enjoy tacos on Tuesdays, preferably? Well, once in a while, but I haven't had Taco Bell in so long. Yeah. I had it like a few weeks ago, but it upset my stomach. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just because I don't eat Taco Bell a lot. I don't, I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of like that fast food stuff like Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. It just seems gross to me. I don't Maybe know about you guys out there. I just, I don't know. Like if you're going to go for tacos, like go to like a local taco place. Like the one down the street. Yeah. yeah. Or go to like a different taco place. Like, I don't know. I mean, isn't there other taco place like uh, La Familia? Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, that's another nice mm -hmm. taco place for Taco Tuesday. Hopefully you are doing well. Jessica Gould and Matt Hummel hanging out with you, a new and noteworthy. Um, one thing that I wanted to talk about uh, for, for many of our viewers, would, would, would people be interested in calling into this broadcast? They do it all the time on radio. Would you be interested? Let us know in the comments down below, and uh, we will definitely... Uh, talk to you guys. So hello Brenda, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully you all are doing well. Uh, thank you all for coming here with us. So some of the, the biggest news that's going on right now is probably the Jamestown Jammers and the road to success. Take a look at what happened last night. Wow, four to three, walk off hit, one more win for the Jammers, and they will be crowned champions. And last year, I remember, I think we went to what, the last game? Yep. The one that, um, you know, who'd they play last year? Oh, I can't remember, but the Jammers lost in the championship series. So right. maybe this is their year? And you know what? We see this from this club all the time. We've covered the Jammers. Mm. And uh, it just looks... Like, every year they get new players. Yep. Barone does a great job yep. f getting them to this point of success, mm -hmm. and, and, he, and they keep coming. Um, and, you know, I've talked to uh, many people at Jammers Game. I'm, I'm, not the, I'm not the biggest baseball fan, but seeing the, the amount of young people that they have in this program is just incredible. And, and then last night, you know, another walk-off, home run and it's just incredible well, i don't think it was a home run it wasn't a home run it was a walk-off hit a walk-off hit and just they're doing such a good job it almost seems like there's better baseball in jamestown than there's ever been i would have to say more competitive at least i mean in, in rory polaro and i have talked about this numerous times the unique thing about having college players is there's some players on the team and in the league that are just playing to, because they love the game, nothing else. Other players are working hard because they hope that a professional scout is watching them. Mm -hmm. Or if they're younger, maybe an 18 or 19 year old, they're looking, maybe a Division One scout's mm -hmm. there. But there's not a lot. I don't think actually there's any money involved. I don't think they get paid. Mm -mm, no, no, so not at that's all. a unique thing. Whereas in the past, you had professional players who weren't making a lot of money, albeit, but they still were making money. Right. And most of them, or at least half of them, expected to move up in the ranks. Right. So there, it wasn't really as, um, how I say, competitive as much. And you know, the, the thing about the Jammers games itself is there's not always a lot of turnout. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we did broadcast uh, one of their first games, and I think, you know, it's hard to fill Dietrich mm -hmm. Park. And that's and a pretty big stadium, and, uh, and a big that's complex. The but yeah. the people who do go are dedicated fans. Yeah. And we've seen that in our stories that we've published. You know, there is a following. I think it's almost just with everyone's lives nowadays, they're so busy that it's kind of hard for them to, you know, get to get to games like this. And especially uh, with the one from last night that was that was downstate. Yeah. You know, that's that's kind of that's a long drive for, for fans. Well, and I have to say it must have been a bummer too. 
I don't know how it was in the clubhouse, but as a fan, to know that there was a scheduling conflict. Right, with the you know. Babe Ruth. Yeah. And, and, and that's another great series that, that's ongoing right now with, yeah. with baseball. People from all over the yeah. world coming yeah. to Jamestown. I mean, it, it definitely was tough to see them have to play all two, maybe all three games right. in Amsterdam. But right. you know what? They won on the road. Maybe they can pull it off again, yeah. and they have two games to do it. Yeah, exactly. So good luck to the Jammers. We're going to keep it tuned here. Um, if you are interested in following the coverage, mm -hmm. Search the Jamestown Jammers up on Twitter because that's actually one of the best. They they update usually every inning. They're a lot better than the league website. Yeah, no, no yeah. disrespect. No, it's just are, like that you know? is that is one of the best sources mm -hmm. to get their information mm -hmm. uh, is on Twitter. So coming up, of course, Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter will have a look at uh, our weather forecast, and then also um, tonight is National Night Out and. We'll answer the question mm -hmm. as to what that is as well um, in just a few. But uh, first, we wanted to take a moment to honor uh, the fallen men and women who uh, have served our great work and our great nation. Because uh, today is Purple Heart Day in the uh, United States. Purple Heart Day was created back in 1782 by General George Washington. They presented soldiers with the Purple Heart for making the ultimate sacrifice we remember and honor them today. New and noteworthy, we'll be back right after. For more than two decades, Dorler Landscape Designs has provided exceptional service to customers right here in Chautauqua County with one goal in mind, transform your lawn into an attractive landscape that will be the envy of the neighborhood. From landscape design to lawn maintenance to sprinkler installation and so much more, count on Dorler Landscaping. Call us today and let us get to work for you. Dorler Landscaping Designs at DorlerLandscape.com. The Main Landing Restaurant. Excellent service, awesome food, and a beautiful view. Everything's made fresh here. We love to be outside, uh, and it's nice inside if it's raining, so we have a choice. Locals and non-locals agree that the Main Landing is quickly becoming a destination. It's just so casual, and just the food is amazing. Uh, I love the hamburgers. But I really like the tuna I had. The Main Landing Restaurant. Excellent service, awesome food, and a beautiful view. Hey, this is Ryan Hedrick reporting from the Jamestown Bowling Company where the bowling is off the hook, the food is even better, and the camaraderie watching sports is oh so great. The food is fantastic and the drinks are cold. Mark was bowling almost a perfect game. Mark, do you come here a lot? Every day. Wow, Mark comes here every day. No excuse for you not to get to Jamestown Bowling Company on Foot Avenue. Jamestown Bowling Company. Eat, drink, bowl, and be merry. The Frewsburg Pharmacy is the small town pharmacy with big time service. Located at 26 West Main Street, Greg Nelson treats his customers like family, so you know you are in good hands when you walk through the door. The Frewsburg Pharmacy has everything you need and more, including a gift shop for the seasons. Stop down to the Frewsburg Pharmacy today and let the staff show you why the Frewsburg Pharmacy is the pharmacy that cares about you. And hey, welcome back to News Now, new and noteworthy on this Tuesday afternoon. Thanks so much for being here with us. Um, National Night Out is tonight, and is an event that will bring local police departments together as they serve the community. This evening, the Dunkirk Police Department will join communities and law enforcement officials across the nation as members of the public and law enforcement get together to share a positive experience. Now, Matt, this is really cool because mm -hmm. the city of Dunkirk will celebrate National Night Out for the 25th straight oh, year wow. in Dunkirk. Now, this is a statement from police officials. 
When many communities have stopped their night out programs, our program is still going strong and growing after 25 years. This is directly related to the dedication of our night out coordinators, the police department, fire department, and citizens of our community working together as partners to keep our city safe while we have some special events to celebrate the 25th year, which will be tonight. They will also have a 50-50 raffle as well there. So the National Night Out program is directly related to community outreach programs, which a lot of police departments are trying to implement today because it's important to have a relationship and good community policing between the cops and a lot of people on the streets. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny you say that. Um, we were talking earlier with a couple different people, and they said it's very important like you said that community connection that is how uh, you know police departments elected officials that's how they succeed yeah. is they have to have the connection with the community and if you don't understand what's going on with right. people out there right. you're not going to be able to connect no. and that's the kind of important gap mm -hmm. between you know a uh, educated citizen and mm -hmm. someone who maybe doesn't know 100 percent mm -hmm. what's going on in the community and that's a hard thing to be because there's so much yep. that isn't touched on right like there's so many things in the world mm -hmm. that goes on that it almost like the these smaller voices and smaller government sort of get drowned out so to speak correct and we've seen our uh, our viewers comment mm -hmm. about that yeah. how they thought certain elected officials here in the city and in the county they thought that they were abandoning them because there wasn't that connection right so right. it'll be interesting to see in the next few years um, if everybody will start coming together again, right. if there's going to be a divide, I don't right. know. Right. So the National Night Out in Dunkirk, if you're interested mm -hmm. in attending, it's at Washington Park starting mm -hmm. this evening. So you can go down. They recommend you bring a dessert to pass. Mm -hmm. If you need more information on that, you can head on over to wnynewsnow.com. That's where all of our news stories mm -hmm. are at. So checking in, hello to Phil. Uh, Kaylee, thanks so much for being here with us. Pam is watching. How's it going? Davidson. Uh, or David says rather that uh, he would call us so to a point that we made earlier if we wanted to have chats with people about the day's news. That I would think it would be interesting. Yeah, I think it would be too mm -hmm. to try to hear from people mm -hmm. uh, as well, kind of on a tour street. Uh, all right, so it says uh, Brenda says, My husband was the Western New York State Commissioner of Babe Ruth years ago. He was involved for over 40 years, volunteered on many World Series in Jamestown. Sadly, he passed away in 2015. After we moved to Texas, the Babe Ruth program brings a lot of families together. Absolutely, Brenda. Um, sorry for your loss, first yes. of all, but um, you know. Great work by your husband and mm -hmm. uh, a lot of smiling faces there at the Babe Ruth this week. I know uh, Jason Sample, who's a mm -hmm. fellow reporter at mm -hmm. WRFA, is taking a week yeah. off to uh, do some play-by-play. Uh, -play? They yep, still yep. call it play-by-play -play for baseball? Right. Yes, sir. Okay. I thought that was a basketball. Before. You know, and I do want to say earlier, I know it sounded like I was a little critical of mm -hmm. the Babe Ruth World Series, you know, and the conflict with the Jammers. Right, and well, it's not a if, bad it, thing. It, yeah, right, if there's no. going to be a conflict, at least it's with something like the Babe Ruth World Series because right. it has brought people not just locally together, but nationally it's brought all. people from the other side of the country right. and and that's really what the big conversation is mm. in jamestown is right now is that you know we have national eyeballs looking at us and we're all dressed up for it obviously yeah. downtown looks great mm. it's it's wonderful you know go go for lunch go for a walk enjoy yourself um but definitely great programs mm. and uh, great people like your husband brenda mm. who, um you know have really contributed to that and uh you know we're certainly mm thankful for it um so again if you have something you'd like us to talk about or you'd like us to know please drop us a link in your line in the comments as well and of course uh you know if you you know join our conversation there but i think that the phone idea would be really cool is to have somebody on it's a lot better than snail mail oh yeah well yeah you could write to us i suppose and then we'll answer it on friday's episode yeah yeah oh, <laughs> oh my gosh we could like have letters or something I don't think I did. I haven't written a letter in a long time. Uh, you're going to have to write some soon, probably. I think so. Probably. Letters of defamation or something? Wow, <laughs> get us in trouble. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, so, uh, let's see here. Dakota, are you with us? I am. You are. All right, what do you have coming up in weather? Uh, we're going to talk about the possible for severe thunderstorms, but the threat is very low for this afternoon, and it's going to be a wet week. Really? Uh -oh. Uh oh Yes. Not good. I see uh, 
some gray clouds out there though. Oh no. Right now, D. We'll, he'll let you know coming up. I don't know, it's it's it is kinda dark. Turn to Brotherhood Property Maintenance for all your lawn care and landscaping needs. Serving both commercial and residential lots, check out Jamestown's fastest growing landscaping crew on Facebook or call us now to book an appointment. EagleZip.com is your local one-stop shop for all of your home and business computer needs. Located on Fluvanna Avenue Extension, just outside of Jamestown, EagleZip.com sells and services all brands of desktops and laptops, as well as servers and network equipment for your business. All new computer sales include transferring your data from your old computer plus a two-year warranty. Call EagleZip.com today. Stop by EagleZip.com today and let us make computers easy for you. The Fitness Bunker in Lakewood is a locally owned and operated club that cares about your health and wellness. They invest in it. Right now, enter their 30-day challenge, where for only $69, you get 30 days of unlimited everything. That's right, everything, along with two one-on-one -on -one personal training sessions. Then, if you lose 10 pounds, you'll get the next month free. Plus, the first place winner will get two Buffalo Bills tickets or a $100 gift card. Details right now on the Fitness Bunkers Facebook page. Brought to you by the people giving hope at Gifts Decor and More. With the controversial Kratom, Gifts Decor and More is giving hope to Southern Chautauqua County residents one visit at a time. What matters to you matters to us. Every story, every day. I sat down with the candidate following last night's meeting, an interview you will only see on WNY News Now. Small, proud, and dedicated community that is shocked, angered, sad. The old Dunkirk City School Building has been remodeled and retrofitted with 21st century technology. Feel demoralized in a sense by the power structure? I don't really know. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but it's oh. there's just not a lot of information, I guess, to change some things, I suppose. Chautauqua County Executive George Borello is in the nation's capital right now, advocating for several water projects in the county. This ban will ultimately uh, lay down some more snow our way uh, over the next uh, 24 or so hours. Now, zooming the radar out. WNY News Now, where coverage comes first. First defense weather, the Southern Tier's only live and local weather source. Now, here's Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter. I think we should update that promo, probably of me having a hissy fit back in the weather office when things aren't going properly. That yeah. good television. I think that yes. we got to get rid of the snow. I don't know why yeah, the I know. snow. But hey, you know what? If you like the snow, you know, I don't know why you would. But anyway, <laughs> uh, let's... Uh, get into weather here and uh, this is the uh, severe weather outlook that is issued by the storm prediction center they still maintain this less than average marginal risk across the entire area for today and they've placed the southern tier under a uh, uh, a uh, marginal risk again for tomorrow and again this is mainly going to be a damaging wind gust threat and of course we'll keep our eyes on that throughout the afternoon and especially tomorrow and you can see here uh, the uh, impacts for the afternoon and again everything is running pretty low here and again the main threat if we see any severe storms this afternoon it's going to be a uh, pretty much a gusty wind threat. So, of course, we'll keep our eyes on it. Of course, we'll be here in the afternoon uh, keeping you updated on all that. Doppler, you can see here, there's a band of rain moving across the northern part of the county right now. And actually, let's kind of uh, zoom this in here. And, uh, well, I hit the wrong button. But anyway, you get the idea. It's raining. Here's a live look at the uh, Seneca Allegheny Casino uh, Sky Vision camera, the clouds out there. 77, look at the dew point. 70. Very, very sticky, very nasty. And uh, here's a live look at the HD News Now cam. Again, not much difference here. The cloud coverage is kind of socked in. And the current temperature is 72 at the Jamestown Airport. 67 degree dew point. That makes it feel like 73. So you can feel that stickiness uh, as you walk out the door pretty much today. Now there is a picnic going on in Sinclairville pretty much tonight. Starts at 6 o'clock. And uh, again, I think it's mainly going to be dry. The rain is going to start to taper off. But there is a 20% chance of rain right as it starts. So we'll just kind of keep that in mind. And then the rain will start to back off uh, as we go throughout uh, the day. And if you don't like the stickiness and the heat, 46 more days to go until fall. So if you want the cooler temperatures, hang on. 46 more days. It officially comes on the 22nd of September at 9.54 p.m. 
I don't know why I did that funny accent. Next seven days of your life are coming up on the screen. This is what happens when you don't get enough sleep. Uh, the uh, showers and storms will continue tomorrow. Temperatures drop uh, further into the 70s. And then, hey, we go around average for the next few days. And then again, we're expecting it to get a little bit warmer once again and even more humid again as we go into the middle of May. J.M. Matt. All righty, Dakota, thank you. In the middle of Look August, at Tom's May. comment. Hey, Tom, what's going on, buddy? Uh, yeah. Those four people were charged from uh, robbing a car. I don't know why you would rob a car. That seems odd. We can talk about that when we come back if you'd like, Tom, after this. First Defense Weather is sponsored by Quick Solutions of Jamestown. Count on Quick Solutions for printing, copying, mass mailings, and so much more. Part of your team. Learn more at quicksolutionsusa.com. That's quicksolutionsusa.com. WNY News Now is sponsored by Chautauqua Audio Works, 3335 South Roberts Road in Fredonia. More than a music store. Call 679-4333. Call now, 679-4333. I just love to be with the dogs, and I like to do them one at a time. They don't wait for five hours in my shop. We have full groom, which includes everything from A to Z, nails, of course, brushing, tri any trimming that needs to be done. I do offer teeth brushing, which is a little extra. So if he takes me two hours, it's $40. If he takes me three hours, I still keep it down. As long as the dog comes back happy and not at the door, I'm happy. Welcome back to New and Nowhere. This is a good jam right here. Some Kesha? Oh, no. No, not Kesha. Not Kesha. Matt, I, last time I bring something nice oh. up. Oh, will you shut up? No, Matt does not like anything that's not from last week. Like, if the artist hasn't pushed the song out in the last four days, he's like, too old, well, don't want to listen to it. four days, Skip. but good no, golly, this, this, eight this, years? This, it's a classic. It's a classic. I like music that brings me back to my childhood. Anyways, um, so what happened in Celeron, Tom? Tom's comp coming about it. What's going well, on? Nothing. No, nothing. I'm kidding. Okay. No news. Go home. No. <laughs> so in all seriousness, we had four people. Uh, Robert Gilbert, 17 years old. Mm. Uh, Gregory Skinner, 34. Michael Johnson, 21. And a 16-year-old, uh. all from Jamestown. They allegedly uh, stole some items from several unlocked properties okay or excuse me vehicles uh, and that was again in the village of celeron okay so epd is looking into this correct all right and uh the four of them were arraigned a one count each of petty larceny uh six degree conspiracy i've never heard i mean i've heard of conspiracy but right but not, six that's kind of a low yeah low scale and then you have six counts of fifth degree criminal possession of stolen property. Hmm. Johnson and the minor were also charged with seventh degree criminal possession of a controlled substance. Okay, so they had some sort of drugs. Correct. Okay. And were allegedly, and allegedly. Were remanded to county jail. Okay, so they, police obviously they're telling people lock your cars. Yep. Um, very much something that I think a lot of people do right i mean i'd lock my car every time i mean me like too it. especially nowadays yeah you know i mean i lock my home. i have security cameras on my home because mm -hmm. you know i don't know what's going on in the that's world that's right it's, it's jay's on the cutting edge i do oh, we, we do have a pretty nice system i mean it's, it's not a bad security system but um we can see our cars that's the important part oh that's you great don't know what well, right where you, where you park so yeah you, now everyone's people will smash your windows can. for a yeah. ten dollars and change yeah i've seen some you know, pretty i keep crazy. a quarter stash and it's yeah i feel like someone would want may want that i mean you know i'll give you 10 bucks if you want it that bad it's it's really sad honestly it, uh, i would say uh that's one way of putting it i guess Samantha's the only thing i keep in my car is literally just cds and quite yeah. frankly you if you CDs? were to break in and steal a CD, you wouldn't be able to play it anyway because what car comes with a CD player nowadays? Nobody. That's right. You have we to all, use an aux cord. Yeah, so exactly. We all rip them out and put in our you have stereos CDs? and aux cables. Dakota? Yeah. We what do you have? CDs driving down the road. What do you what? have? The um, twang. The twang, yeah. He likes 
twang. Twitty rap or twit. Uh, Samantha says, you rob a car or anything for that matter because you don't have the smarts to get a job. Keep a job so you can afford your own wants slash needs. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, Samantha, by the sounds of it, you go to work every day. We have bills to pay. And it's almost like we talked about this a couple weeks ago with the uh, candidate, um, the, the libertarian candidate. Oh, Larry Sharp. And Larry Sharp, candidate Sharp. Mm -hmm. And uh, we talked about the fact that people sometimes feel like they don't have that need anymore to just get up and go to work. But we're here. You guys are hopefully on your lunch break. Well, you are. know, it's just the mindset for it's some changed. reason that people keep pressing. Don't work. Yeah. Don't do this. Right. Don't do that. It's pretty sad, actually. Right. Saying hello to Cindy. Welcome. Thank you for being here with us. Um, yeah. So those four hopefully will learn from their mistake in Celeron and not do that ever again. Unfortunately, they might not. They might continue down the road of sorrow. So hopefully they get some help. Yeah, Certainly. and that's assuming they did it, which I... All right, allegedly It, it looks it. like it. Right. You never yeah. know. But sitting in county jail certainly can be a wake-up call for a lot of people, I would imagine. Yeah, because even if they I've somehow... I've toured it. It's scary. Because <laughs> even... Think about it this way. Even if you didn't actually do a crime. Yeah. To sit there and wait for, well, a trial if it's a bigger crime right. or, you know, court hearings or what have you. Right. Like, that in itself would be intimidating. Yeah. When you and I uh, and Rye went in there, like, just seeing some of these people, it's like, holy cow, I do not want to end up here. Mm -hmm. And that's just county jail. We're not right. even speaking state pr or federal prison. Right. Tina says, lock them cars, people. Keep valuables out of sight. Absolutely. Yes. That definitely is a good idea because you Or don't you should just get yourself a security system like that. Um, what was the name of um, uh, what's uh, the green thing from oh, um, uh, Rocco's Modern name? Life? Oh, Who was his neighbor? Do you remember know. there was an episode where I think he had a car and his security system was so sensitive that even when a leaf fell on it, the security system went on? Really? I, I don't, I don't know, know what you're talking about. Yeah, you never either. watched Rocco's Modern Life? Nope. I've never watched Rocco's Modern Life? Yes. What the heck is that? Oh, my God, Jay. Final look at weather. <laughs> uh, there's Yikes. a quick solution seven day, if we can write links one. There you go. <laughs> I, I am at a loss for words. That, Ten that, day. Yeah. Uh, Matt, I'm going to throw my clicker at you. Uh, <laughs> you can see there rain for much of the week and average temperatures as we go into the weekend. That's all I can say. Oh, and you poor thing. we got to work with Jay about trying to get him yeah. to watch some good cartoons. So is it going to rain? We our, our buddy Larry Barmore in uh, Sinclairville tonight is having a historical meeting, a picnic. Going to rain there, D. Uh, by the time it starts, I believe that's at yeah. 6 o'clock. Uh, a lot of the rain should exit, so exit. you should okay. be fine. So but there's a 20% chance of rain early when it starts. So. You know what Larry told us today? Hmm. He's like, it doesn't, he's like, weather people, he's looking at his different weather apps, and they're kind of Crap contradicting, apps. they're contradicting themselves, like the Weather Crap Channel apps. apps. Yeah. Crap apps. <laughs> yeah, well, he's like, I love Larry, he's like, you know, so, uh, Always get a forecast touched by a human. That's why it's right. a good idea right, right, right. to go to like, www.newsnow.com slash weather because that is a forecast that is touched by yours truly. Right, exactly. Dakota hand makes his forecasts every day just like handmade bread. But Larry's like, <laughs> weather people get paid whether they're right or wrong and he's right. That's true. they do. And uh, we love our Dakota Hunter though. Because you are always right. Except for when you're not. The glare. The glare. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for us today. We are back tomorrow. Of course, news continues all the time at WNYNewsNow.com. Don't download a crap weather app. Exactly. Download the WNY News Now app. The 10-day forecast. Come uh, on. Did you forecast. just spill something? I did.